عبد الهادي يصارع دولة عظمى في حياته ما قرأ ولا كتب في حياته ما قطع شجرة ولا طعن بقرة في حياته ما جاب سيرة نيويورك تايمز بريابها في حياته ما رفع صوته على أحد إلا بقوله تفضل والله العظيم غير ست تفضل مع ذلك فهو يحيا قضية خاسرة حالته ميؤوس منها وحقه ضرة ملح سقطت في المحيط أيها السادة إن موكلي لا يعرف شيئا عن عدوه وأؤكد لكم أنه لو رأى بحارة الانتربرايز لقدم لهم البيض المقلي ولبن الكيس Abdul Hadi fights a superpower. In his life, he neither wrote nor read. In his life, he didn't cut down a single tree, didn't slit the throat of a single calf. In his life, he did not speak of the New York Times behind its back, didn't raise his voice to a soul, except in his saying, come in, please, by God, you can't. Nevertheless, his case is hopeless, his situation desperate. His God-given rights are a grain of salt tossed into the sea. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, about his enemies my client knows not a thing. And I can assure you, were he to encounter the entire crew of the aircraft carrier Enterprise, he'd serve them eggs sunny side up and labina fresh from the bag. إلى تحذير إلى هوات الصيد وشدات القنص لا تصوبوا غداراتكم إلى فرح لا تصوبوا غداراتك غدرك إلى فرح فهو لا يساوي ثمن الخرطوشة تبدد باتجاهه فما ترونه أنيقا وسريعا كغدار يفر في كل اتجاه كديك حاجا ليس فرحا صدقوني فرحي لا علاقة له بالفرح Warning, lovers of hunting and beginners seeking your prey, don't aim your rifles at my happiness which isn't worth the price of the bullet you'd waste on it. What seems to you so nimble and fine like a fawn and flees every which way like a partridge isn't happiness. Trust me, my happiness bears no relation to yeah. happiness. Yeah, but yeah. Amalid, lal musiqa, wala shihra, wala thawra, wala tharwa, wala hatta shi'ad nafsu, bimustati'in an yu'azzini an قصر عمر الإنسان عن أن الملك لير ثمانون صفحة وتنتهي وعن محض التصور أن المرأة قد يرزأ بابن عاق Neither music, fame, nor wealth not even poetry itself could provide consolation for life's brevity or the fact that King Lear is a mere 80 pages long and comes to an end, or for the thought that one might suffer greatly on account of a rebellious child. See? Look. 
ربي ذكي هو العظيم أما أنا وأنت والآخرون فأغلب الظن أننا أناس عاديون My love for you is what's magnificent but I, you and the others most likely are ordinary people. Oh, what is it? Wahakada is Tagaraktu Sitina Sanatan Kamidatan Hatta Adraktu Anand Maa Anandun Ashima. وأن الخبز من الأطعمة أشاها وأن لا قيمة حقيقية لأي فن إلا إذا أدخل البهجة إلى قلب الإنسان. And so it has taken me all of sixty years to understand that water is the finest drink and bread the most delicious food and that art is worthless. Unless it plants a measure of splendor in people's hearts. بعد أن نموت ويسدل القلب المتعب أجفانه الأخيرة على كل ما فعلنا على كل ما تمنينا. وعلى كل ما حلمنا به تشوقنا إليه أو أحسن أو أحسسنا ستكون الكراهية أول ما يتعفن فينا. After we die and the weary heart has lowered its final eyelid on all we've done and on all that we've longed for. On all that we've dreamt of, all we've desired or felt, hate will be the first thing to putrefy within us. Our friend made a biography about me. She came to Nazareth and asked me so and so and so. Once she talked to my friends, my wife and the children to here. Once she told me, let us go to Safuri, where I born. I told her, I'm sorry, when I go to Safuri, I'm for a couple of days sick. I can't go there. I said, okay, she told me. Then I wrote this. ها أنا ذا في الموقع ذاتي لكن المكان ليس ترابا وفضاء ليس حجارة أين اللوت الأخضر أين الشحتيات والثواب أين رمان الأمسيات ورائحة الخبز أين القطا والشبابي أين رفة جديلة أميرة؟ أين السمان وطهي المحجلات؟ أين أعراس السنون؟ أين أعياد الزيتون وفرح السنابل؟ أين أهداب الزعفران وملاعب الغميضة؟ أين قاسم؟ أين الزعتر؟ أين الشوحة تنقض على الدجاجات من عاش السمن؟ فتصرخ خلفها الجدة أخذت الردية يا فاجري ريتك ما تصرفيها يا بعيدي ريتك ما تصرفيها The place itself or I hope you can't digest it And so I come to the place itself But the place itself is not its dust and stones and open space for where are the red-tailed birds and the almonds green? Where are the bleeding lambs and pomegranates of evening? The smell of bread and the grouse? Where are the windows? And where is the ease of Amira's braid? 
where the quails and white-footed feathered horses whinnying, their right leg alone set free. Where are the wedding parties of swallows, the rites and feasts of the olives, the joy of the branching spikes of wheat, and where is the crocus's eyelash? Where are the fields we played, our games of hide and seek, in, and where is Cusson? Where are the hyssop and thyme? Where is the kite descending on chicks from the heaven's heights as the old woman shouts, and if you took our speckled hen, you whore, I hope you can't digest it. You there in the distance, I hope you can't digest it. They say that التي تعرضت لها في جسدي بعد أن وضعت قدمي في الستينات كانت معدودة وعادية بضع تغيرات ليس إلا ضغط يضاغط سكري التهاب مقيم في المفاصل اضطراب مدمن في عصارات كوكبة من الغدد الأساسية فض فمي ثقل سمعي خلل جذري في رؤيتي عبر نظارات سميكة الاعتماد الكلي على العكاد حتى عندما أسعل أرق مجوسي لا يخمد في ليل أسود أسود أطول من شعر ستين غولا بضعة تغيرات كما ترى إلى جانب وهن دائم في عضلة القلب في عضلة الفرح من قلبي أيضا ملاحظة حالات عامة لافتة من فئة اللجوء إلى استعمال التعبير فض فمي بدل القول تساقطت أسناني Nothing more the changes facing my body when I first set foot in my 60s were normal. They were only a handful, nothing more. A battle between my sugar and blood, persistent inflammation in joints, and chronic trouble with the fluids flowing from the principal cluster of glands. I held my tongue as my hearing worsened and a serious flaw developed in my vision even through thick glasses, along with a total dependence on my cane even when coughing. In unrelenting Zoroastrian insomnia pursued me on the blackest of nights, longer than the hair of sixty ghouls. As you see, there were only a few apart from those involving ceaseless fatigue in the muscle charge with joy in my heart. An interesting general condition was also observed along the lines of my resorting to using the expression, I held my tongue instead of saying, my teeth fell out. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You see, Place they are place itself. the same thing with <laughs> handles, for instance. And whenever I read it, I feel I the first time read it and know it. And it makes me exactly as when I wrote it. Because I think that the poem has to be the stamp of the voice, not in imitation, not a weak thing, not, but comes from the heart to find his way to the hearts of the readers. Otherwise, it's not fun. It's not art. It's not art. Fun is art in Arabic. <laughs>